Hi guys, welcome to our alcohol ink class. We are gonna have so much fun today. We have some alcohol ink techniques to try and then we have been layering them up with some dyes, different Christmas type of dyes. We used a bunch of these Tim Holtz trees. They're so cute. Yeah. And then when you pair it onto the alcohol ink background, they just really pop out. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna go over some different techniques, um, just some different things you can do that maybe you haven't thought of. Yeah. And we just kind of did some trial and, and <laughs> error and a lot of error. <laughs> so and, yeah yeah for this class you all you need is some yupo paper mm -hmm. um, it's a plastic type of paper um, that isn't porous so the alcohol will stay on the top of it and then you can play around with it and that's how it gets all of these different effects on it and then you will also need a few different colors of alcohol today we have um, we have some Tim Holtz alcohol inks and then some marabou, uh, Bria Reese, and then also we have some alcohol pearls yes, and right. some alloys. Yes, and these add a bit of um, shine and metallic looking to your alcohol mm -hmm. ink paintings. Um, so you might want mm -hmm. to grab some of those. Jill likes her aprons. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. <laughs> we like them too. Makes yeah. us feel crafty. Yeah, you could get them at Cherry on Top. They are for sale. Yep. <laughs> um, did you talk about alcohol? Ink? Oh yeah, and, and then yeah, or actual alcohol. Yeah, is some isopropyl alcohol. You need alcohol. at least ninety-one percent or higher. higher. Yep. Any lower, then your inks are not going to move and blend as much. We put our alcohol in this little dropper, um, which makes yeah. it applying it to your paper a lot easier. Mm -hmm but however you want. And then also some alcohol blending solution. This acts differently than the isopropyl alcohol. So we recommend having both yeah. and trying, trying different both things. Yeah. Because that's what Tim Holtz does. He <laughs> says you need both, so he Just is the both. expert. <laughs> we go with what he does. Yep. Um, the alcohol does like dilute your ink a little bit more, I feel like. Yeah, the blending solution. Yeah, and the blending solution um, mixes colors together a little bit more, where the alcohol ink will just completely separate them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they're both fun to play with. Yeah. Okay, first technique. Are you ready? You ready? So oh. we're calling it our. Oh, we're yeah. also using oh, these we're blowers. Uh, yeah, we ended up using these a lot. These are really great. These are the um, Tim Holtz blowers. What's it called? Yeah, it's like I an think air it's blower. Just air blower, yeah. But this really helps get your alcohol ink moving around. Yeah, you can control it a lot better than a heat gun. Um, heat guns are still fine to use. A lot of people use straws too, but you need to be careful with that because you're gonna yeah, kind of inhale. inhale a lot yeah. of fumes. Don't need that. This is a safer route. <laughs> and they're just fun to use. Like it's a good. I don't know. It's fun. It is fun. Okay, so our first technique. Um, we have super professional names for all these, is drip. We're doing like kind of like a drip technique. Drip and then, yeah, we're using drip the blower. And blow. Blow it all around. <laughs> um, yeah, so. So we'll both do the same technique, but um, we'll be using like different colors. And yeah. And whatnot. just, and they'll turn out completely different. Yes. You will never make the same thing twice. <laughs> it's always and, different. And I also like starting off with this technique because it, if you ever make like you're not liking your painting just go mm -hmm. back to this technique and cover it up yes you can always go yeah. back to something yeah add more alcohol to it and it will kind of revive it um so the yupo paper you can use either side i have glitter on one side so <laughs> i'll use the other one we we're playing with glitter earlier <laughs> okay what colors are you using i am making a rainbow Ooh. so i'm going to use a rainbow of colors okay and Alcohol will stain your hands a little yes. bit. You can wear gloves or, or just be prepared just for have the mess. stained fingers all the time. Yes. I don't know what happened to this finger, but wow, it's really pink. Yeah. That's okay. Um, so I'm just starting with lines of color. I'm not doing rainbow. I'm doing Laguna. This is a Tim Holtz ink. And I really kind of go towards blues. 
Yeah, I feel uh, like the blues, just like when you start mixing that. some blues together, Monsoon. they just look good. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of that. And it doesn't really matter where you put it on here right now for this technique. Um, and then I'm going to grab my alcohol. This will make it move, so I'm going to put it kind of like all around it. And also, this is an alloy, so you always need to shake it. Shake. The rest of them, you don't need to shake. You need, just need to shake the alloys and the pearls because they, they're they actually like chunks that'll settle in the bottom. Right. So you can see this. I, um, I'm starting to just kind of swirl it around. Ooh. And I'm going to let it drip off to one side. But it's actually, almost, I think I need more ink. It's almost looking like a watercolor effect. Yeah, yeah. So if it's not moving a lot, you can just add more. Add more of this um, monsoon and my Laguna. This is such a pretty color. Pretty, pretty teal. And I'm going to add more alcohol. And I'm just going with my rainbow. Yeah. I've got all the rainbow colors in here. And I'm going to grab a paper towel to kind of catch all my extra ink here. <laughs> it does come off okay. You can like, um, if you're using a glass mat, you can use just your rubbing alcohol to get it off. And I'm letting it drip. And I'm going to start adding some of my isopropyl alcohol onto the top of my rainbow. This will help get things mixing together a little bit and get it moving so it's not just these mm -hmm. strips. And it's kind of, mine's just kind of doing its own thing here. I don't know what it's doing, but I like it. And I haven't even used the blower yet. This is all, this is just me tilting the paper around. It's a very beginner friendly technique. <laughs> Right. Tilt it around. Yep. Now I'm just going to start mixing. I'm using my blower and going back and forth to mix up these colors. Ooh, pretty. And now I'm going in with my blower. And I'm only using two colors here, but they are starting to blend right here in the middle, if you can see that. And we're just going around and blowing. Try to cover up more of that white space. Love these two colors together. Yeah. Where Jill asked where she can get this uh, blower at? Um, cherry on top. Cherry on top dot com. We have yep. these in stock. Yep. Uh, I think you just search Tim Holtz blower. Yeah, air blower. I think that's what it's yeah. called. Tim but Holtz yeah. air blower. They're search that. very useful. I'd I recommend. like it. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep using my same two colors because I like them. Yeah. Um, you can use as many colors as you want. You just have to be careful that um, certain colors blending together will look muddy and. Yeah, because that is pretty. <laughs> We've had experience with that. Yeah, although like you can add the alcohol on top, um, mm -hmm. and it kind of pushes the old color Ooh. aside. Um, it'll still you'll still see it in the background. Like it yeah. has a memory of the past color. It has a memory. <laughs> Ooh, look at these drops that I got going. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's a really cool like that watercolor nice looking. Yeah. This is, it did not look like this last time I did it. <laughs> it looks different every single time. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to kind of blow my edges a little bit because it's really saturated down here. And the blower also helps it dry faster too. Because yeah, yeah. then you don't have large puddles that you're just waiting on the drying. Yeah. And you can use a dryer. Um, but it will it'll move it. Mm -hmm. If So if you're using a drying tool of some sort, it will move the inks around, just kind of in a different way. And I like doing it that way too, but I feel like I have less control. Like, yeah. maybe I just need more practice. Yeah, I, don't, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I just, I'm not very good at it. But um, the blower, I just feel like it's super beginner friendly. Like, anybody can squish this little thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
beginner friendly is what I like. And then we're also using some media mats, which is helpful for alcoholing. Mm -hmm. um, you just need a non-porous surface that you can work on. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let some more of these drips come down. Ooh, I'm liking this. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Look at those drips. Those, yes. Yes. Okay. Drip, drip, drip. I think I'm actually, I'm almost done. I have a couple more white spaces. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna cover. Because, well, actually, I'm not sure what I wanna do this one yet. I might put the white trees on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of the blending solution to the bottom here, just kinda okay. cover and I those. think mine's pretty dry. Is it already? Wow. Look at that rainbow. Cindy said the, um, the dryer is like a little stress ball. Oh, it yes, it is. is. Yes. It's fun. This is it's very, a fun one. Yeah, stress rel relief <laughs> activity. Okay, so I kind of blended those more on the bottom. And I got my my drips in there. See that? And I think this one's done. Like yeah, I Yeah, I think mine's done. I mean if you like it, just just stop. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't like it, keep, keep going. Keep it going. Keep yeah. going. It'll change. So that is called the drip method. The drip drip and blow. Yep. We're so creative in our names. And then all you need to do to clean up your area is just drip a little alcohol on it. <laughs> your area's very bright. <laughs> See, or or you can have a paper towel. Yeah. And soak up most of it. Well, yeah. Either way, it's fine. Yeah, we don't judge. Um, also, I would recommend closing your lids. If, if you're prone to spilling things, <laughs> like... We are? Yeah. I mean, did you see our last video? We spilled water all over. That was funny. I spilled some alcohol earlier today. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Just a little. Not as bad as last time. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was drip and blow. Next one is saran wrap. And You're going to use some very... Just regular old saran wrap. Doesn't and, matter what brand. And I'm going to be using wax paper. Yes. And so you can find these you in your see, kitchen. Yep. You can see find these what different things these will do. Store. Um. Okay. What do I need? I need new paper. Let's see. Well, since I went with blues on that one, I think. Maybe I'll go a different way. Maybe yeah. I'll go... I'm thinking because I went rainbow, I should do less colors. Less colors. Time. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go pink. Just because that's Let's fun. So I have some alcohol purple. pearls, intrigue, and alcohol ink gumball. Tim Holtz. So remember the pearls you need to shake. Yeah. Otherwise, it could be chunky. Yeah. But... You know what? That's texture. That's all right. We go for some purple and some turquoise. Ooh, this is dark. Oh wow, that purple is really yeah. Really you really saturated. don't need more than a few drops of most of these. Mm -hmm. I also just like it when there's like a little um, alloy in there. Yes, the alloys so give it like a little bit of shimmer. Yeah. Um, without it being like super sparkly. Okay. Yeah, well, and it's like it kind of collects around the edges of the alcohol. I'm scoot these over a little bit. All right. What am I doing, Serena? Okay, and then I already forgot what we're doing. I'm going to add some of some of the alcohol around the open areas of this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to take my wax paper and drop it on there. Um, the ink will bleed through the wax paper, so unless you want it all over your hands, you can grab a paper towel or something to smear it around. <laughs> you try. That one got some dried ink stuck on it. Yeah. Oh, good. I loosened it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> so it this talking? is the gumball one. Ooh, that's bright. And... 
Okay, I'm gonna add more of the pearls too. Look at it just coming through. Yeah. Yeah. It spreads the wax on its own. Ooh. <gasps> Fun. You got a little Ooh, bit of texture going on there. Oh, I did. That did not happen last time. No. Last time, here, let's see. Is this? This, this one? is this yep. one was used with the wax paper. It kind of gives it like a watercolor effect. Ooh, I'm liking it. But that it. looked really texturized. Texturized. Is that a word? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Don't, I'm I gonna think just you should leave just it. leave it. Don't I'm gonna touch leave it. Because it. it's yeah. either I leave it or I mess it up. Yeah. I love that. Done. Okay. That's done. an easy technique. That is very easy. Stick on some wax paper. Okay, so for mine, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just covering more of this, and then you'll see what I do with my saran wrap. So I'm kind of going back to my drip method, just kind of pouring it all around. Um, let me see. I'm gonna do more of the pearls. Really nice color. And I'm gonna start blowing that around. A little bit here. Um, for this technique, you actually need another piece of Yupo. I forgot. So I'm actually gonna be doing two at a time. Ooh. Isn't that nifty? Mm hmm. Let me move it. Move some of these out of the way. So I'm gonna wait for this to be just a tiny bit drier, but not like all the way dry. And I don't like this spot right here. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just gonna let it blend too a little bit more. Concentrated. So yeah. I'm putting on some blending solution. I want to break that up a little bit more. That works, but I think I want a little more. I'm pretty sure this one is the fastest alcohol ink thing <laughs> that I've you done. ever did. That took usually, um, five seconds. Yeah, usually I just sit here and then I fuss with it and then I add some more and then and then it like gets to a point. Then I don't like, like it ugh, and then I try I to that? dab off all of it and yeah. what? That's that cool. looks great. Yeah, cool. So you never know. You never know. All right, so I'm gonna take my saran wrap and I'm gonna do this really hard technique, not really. Squish it together and make kind of like a ball. Not too tight. Where's the camera? There we are. <laughs> and then you're just gonna dab it wherever you want to see some texture. So maybe I want some on this side. Maybe I want some on this side. You can do the whole thing if you want to. Don't matter. There are no Ooh, rules. Yeah. There are no rules yeah, for alcohol cool. ink. And then, don't stop. What you do with this one, you come over to your blank paper, and you kind of like stamp it Ooh, over here. That almost looks like flowers or yeah. like fireworks or, that's very cool. And then you just kind of go around any kind of pattern mm -hmm. that you want. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what I want to do with it, so. Yeah. And it's really light. Like, it's not... It almost... Or, like, it looks like broken glass or something. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. And you can go as heavy or light on it mm -hmm. as you want. Um, and then to get more, you just kind of come back to your original. Yeah. I kind of like that more than the original. <laughs> it's just, like, <laughs> right? a lighter look. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's feathery. Cool. Oh, that one does look like a feather. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And then you have to figure out when... When you want to stop. stop? I don't know. Well, this is not a very wintry card. <laughs> no. Well, hmm. Pink snowflakes. Pink? Sure. <gasps> Pink snowflakes. That's a good idea. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah I can make that into yeah. like a winter something. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I could okay. totally see that as snowflakes. Or, or it's like mm -hmm. um, ice on like your car. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, so I'm going back to my original one and adding some more of the Intrigue Pearls. Because um, I don't really love this one yet. I'm just <laughs> I'm just going back to it. I want more texture, but not, mm -hmm. I don't know, not all over. Just maybe in certain areas. Yeah. And then you can always add more alcohol. 
Yeah, to break up to some break it up, yeah. maybe to mm -hmm. stick my saran wrap back in there. Yeah, and like that totally lighten changes that it. Yeah, like, like it that takes, lightened it up a lot. It takes two seconds to completely change it. It almost looks a little orangey on camera, but this yeah, is really. I kind of see like a little peachy. Yeah. Like, yeah, when you added the alcohol, I don't know if it just made it a lot lighter, but yeah, that definitely got a yeah, bit that peachy. Yeah, that lightened it up a lot. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more in the bottom, and then I think this is almost done. Yeah. Look how fast that is. I mean, you can create cool backgrounds, pieces of art with saran wrap and wax paper. Wax paper. Super and easy. And alcohol inks. And you oh, yeah, in. that, yeah, that rest of that stuff, too. <laughs> All right. And make sure, if you're going to be doing this for a while, make sure you're, like, you're in, like, an open area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe open a window, yeah. a big room, because the it does get a little smell. fumey. It, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of alcohol smells. Yummy. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's fun. yeah. That's cool. It has yeah a lot of different texture. Mm hmm And I like this like big blended spots over here. Yeah, it's like this is a bit smoother, and then you've got all of your yeah the texture cool. on the outside. I like it. I'm not gonna touch it now. <laughs> that's the hard part. Yeah. Yep. Um, next, I'm going to add glitter. Ooh, yeah. Um, when you add glitter, uh, you need to use like a really fine glitter. Mm -hmm. This is some glitter from Sizzix, um, and it works perfectly because it is really fine. Um, any type of powdery glitter will do good. Yeah. So my glitter and is blue, so I'm going to go will for make some a mess. blues. Yeah. You will make a mess, and that's okay. Well, it's glitter. It's to be expected. You will find it on yourself for like a week. <laughs> but it's Christmas time. That's okay. It's yeah. Just it's spread glitter everywhere. Yeah, like that's just <laughs> like some um, some Santa dust. Yeah. So while Jess does glitter, I'm gonna do foil. So I'm actually gonna take like like a foil sheet. This is from the We Are Memory Keepers like foil quill line, all mm -hmm. that foil. But you can use any foil, or like foil flakes. That would work well too. And you'll see what I do with that in just a minute. To get so, my background going first. When you use the foil and the glitter, you do it at the very end. Yes. Um, you let you let it dry mostly, and then you just come in at the very end. Let like, me show you what it looks like stage. if you don't wait. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> very glittery because I did, I had a lot of wetness, but mm -hmm. I mean I still like how it turned out. It's just it's very glittery. <laughs> Where here. Um, I just added glitter, like in the last little bit of its drying, and it went around, um, like these edges where it stays wet the longest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I like yeah. that. I like the so edges. So it's like, like just a little. It's almost like, um, like the alloys. Like yeah, they kind of yeah. cool around the edges. Yeah. So, yeah, Joyce yeah. says the more solid one would make some pretty Christmas ornaments from dyes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be mm -hmm. really cute. Too bad we didn't do this earlier and like <laughs> had them ready for Christmas. Oh, I'm I'm giving some of these as Christmas cards. Are you? Yeah. You oh you were on top of yes. this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Grandma's getting one. Yeah. Mom's yeah. getting one. What am I Definitely. gonna do? I'm gonna do purple. This will be used. Um I'm using Vineyard from Tim Holtz. This is a very dark saturated purple. So you don't really need a ton. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of the statue alloy. I don't know. Do I want to add some yellow? Or I keep don't know. it? Decisions, decisions. Uh, no. I'm going to keep it all blues. Ooh. That'll look good together. Yeah, if you never know what to do, just keep keep your colors the same color um, yeah like in the same uh range of colors yeah and just do and, like different shades of yeah. it yeah and then it'll look good yeah um it starts to look muddy if you do add a lot um so yeah just try to yeah keep it to a couple when you're so starting just kind of yes yeah, choose your favorite color and then maybe grab a darker one or a lighter one of the around the same shape Ooh, that looks pretty Ooh, it Look does. Look at that. I didn't even do anything. I just kind of swirl it around. Woo. 
Grady. So this is like the first technique with the blower. Mm -hmm. um, just I'm going to be adding glitter as it dries. Mm -hmm. um, you want it done. Like you don't want to add more alcohol after you've already added the glitter because then the glitter just... You can, but the glitter will move. Yeah. yeah. That happens to mine. Mm. So I guess if you want to move your glitter. Yeah. But I mean, but I try like, it out. I like try yours it out. in the little... Nooks yeah, just and like in the... Yeah. yeah. I like it that way. Yeah. So I'm just kind of blowing it around until it looks good. And I want it to be a little bit dry and sticky before I add my foil, but not like all the way dry. This takes a little bit of trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> the first few times I did this, I could not mm -hmm. get it to work. But I've seen it done. Um, Natalie on our design team, she did this. Um, I forget. There's a I think blog she post. she did it on a tag or something. Yeah, she did alcohol ink and then she put foil on it. I'm like, oh, I need to try that. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I like this line I got going here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice line. Keep going with that. And you don't always have to cover the whole surface. Right, right. Um, I see a lot of times people make like a more blobby shape in the center mm -hmm. and those look really cool. Um, so yeah, don't feel like you have to cover the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it actually looks really cool leaving white space. Yeah. I'm just, I got a big old pile of alloy right here. So I added some more of that purple. I want that to show through because I really want my foil to really pop out too. So I feel like I need more purple. Okay, now so a lot of this is starting to dry, so I need to start working a little quicker. Yeah, you need to go faster. Oh. <laughs> go, go, go. Um, if it does start to dry before you can get around to the glitter, just add some more alcohol. Yeah. Um, and it'll come back. Okay. I'm really liking this. Let's see. Can you see all that? Nice little shimmer from the alloy. Um, but now it's still a little bit too wet for the foil. Okay. So I'm going to kind of dry it a tiny bit. I'm just kind of blowing it up further. I think mine's ready. Ooh. I still have some larger sections mm -hmm. here. I want that to dry a little bit more. But... It is really getting to be just around the edges, the, the edges yep. of my mm -hmm. my blobby shapes. Blobby. So I'm just going to wait for this one to dry a little bit more. You can really tell how um, dry it's getting by just like putting it at an angle. Mm -hmm. And this blower does dry it really fast, so you can specifically dry certain areas. <laughs> Alicia, is that how you say that? Alicia? You really like the purple? Mm. I do too. It's like really nice deep purple. Uh, let's see. Is this dry enough? I don't know. Let's see. All right. Might just have to go with trial and error. So I completely covered it <laughs> with <Wow>. glitter. <laughs> that is a lot of glitter. Okay. You can never have too much glitter. Yeah, yeah, well. But then I tap it off. And it, Ooh, so it really just yeah. ended up on because on a you few were more areas. patient and waited <laughs> for it to dry. Ooh, I got a whole area here I didn't realize was wet, but That's so okay. if it's That's wet, okay. the glitter will stick to it. I love it. That is so pretty. Look at that perfect um, background for yeah. a card, a page in your mini album. Anything. Anything. A piece of art. Put it in a frame. Like, that's cute. <laughs> done. Art, done. Christmas gift, done. Yeah. Actually, these are really good Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm giving these for oh. Christmas. Mine's drying probably too much now. Okay, so now I take the foil. Now, remind me which way I go. I go this way. Yes. Okay. If you go the wrong way, then you're not going to see foil. Um, I take my foil, and I'm just going to press it down on an area and just kind of rub it in my finger and lift it up and some of the foil will stick down let's see and now i can't really tell because of my alloy <laughs> let me go over here with my darker purple let's see did that come off a tiny bit did yeah i might have to re the foil, it. yeah the foil takes um takes a little bit of patience yeah 
I might have got it too, too dry. I was distracted by your glitter. <laughs> so glitter this is, is this is too dry. It's my foil's not sticking. So I'm just gonna add some more ink and alcohol to get it revived. Oh, I gave it a bigger tap, and a oh, lot more of that came off. a lot of that glitter puddle <laughs> came off. So you can also use a paintbrush to kind of clear off where the glitter, where you don't want the glitter. Okay, I like that better. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like here, that's kind of a weird glitter area. There we go. Okay. Ooh. That's better. I like that better. And I'm just kind of re-wetting it. But now it's gonna, it looks different, and that's okay going with it. Mm -hmm. Going with it. I got some layers going on. Just going to make a bigger glitter mess trying to save all this <laughs> glitter, but I like this glitter so <laughs> worth it. Okay, now I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. But not too long. <laughs> if you hold your air blower up just more, you won't get that movement. You'll just kind of dry it. It's my really professional technique. <laughs> Cindy says she loves the glitter. Yes. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, it's fun. And Alicia. Yes, we love oh, it too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try this again. This is very much trial and error. Got my foil. I think it's wet enough. It does look very wet. But now if it's, it might but be if too, it's too, too wet, wet, then it doesn't work either. I feel like it might be oh, too I wet. Oh, I got some. Yep. Oh, you probably can barely see it, but it's right there. Um. <laughs> I'll show you. Say you say so. I'll show you a close-up in a minute, but it's. <laughs> I'm not patient enough for that. There it is. See, some of the edges are getting it. Oh, oh, okay. It is really hard to tell the difference between the alloy and that. I know. I probably shouldn't have used alloy. Well, it's like the. Oh, see, ooh. there's a good spot. Mm-hmm. It has a different look than the alloy, yeah. though. So I think it's still good. So you just, yeah, you just keep rubbing it on. Oh, there's a good bunch right there. Ooh. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wet right yeah. there. I wonder if that's too Maybe wet. Maybe like an Over edge. Over here. Give the edge a try. And it will, if it's too wet, like it will kind of smudge. Look, I just oh. made like that. That's okay. I can fix it. Very easy to fix. No, see this area up here is too wet, so my foil's not sticking. That's all right. <laughs> Sean says he hates glitter. Well, <laughs> I'm covered in glitter. It's not for everybody, but <laughs> I I like glitter. I like it, but I just don't like. I don't mind wearing it for a week. I don't even mind it. I really don't. I can have glitter on my face for days. Yeah. <laughs> Our office is usually has glitter on it at all times. Okay, see now this this side is not really picking up the foil as much. It must be too wet or too dry. I think too wet. Mm -hmm. It looks really wet just in the puddle wet. there. Let me try some of the edges. Mm -hmm. So, oh, see, yeah, that, that got it right there. So with the foil method, it's it does take a little bit of practice, but mm -hmm. um, and let me kind hold of it up. knowing when it's wet enough or dry enough yeah. to where it'll work. Yeah, can you see that foil? Yeah. See now it's getting too dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it still shows up in a few areas. Um, yeah, yeah. You gotta so just practice. So this doesn't have a lot, but. I have some that goes along this line. I have some up here, if you can see that. Yeah. Right down here. Oh, yeah. So just a little bit of foil accent there. And I like it. I think I'm going to keep it like this. Yeah. I have a little I like white it. space going on. And because I'm just tired of trying to get this foil to work. <laughs> it works. It just it takes a little bit more practice, more time to get it right. Okay. All right. Next technique. So that's our foil and glitter techniques. Um, so the next technique, I used it here. Um, 
oh, is making yeah. these little dots. So first you make your background and then you go in with a paintbrush um, and then getting it wet with the alcohol and just painting on dots and then they'll spread like this. Yep. Um, here I did that to kind of make it look like snowflakes. Mm -hmm. At least that was the that. idea, but mm -hmm. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. I added a lot here. Mm -hmm. So start. And I'm going to do in. kind of circles too, but in a lot smaller format. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm going to use a mister. Oh, I think I'm out of so, Yupo. This is just called the mini mister. Do you have a Yupo? A Yupo? A Yupo? Here's a Yupo. Oh, thanks. I'm going to use the mini mister, and this has just plain alcohol mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful where you spray it. You don't want to get your other projects because it will change them. <laughs> and yeah, you can, it will do different effects. So I already did purple. Let's see, what do I want to do now? <laughs> hmm. I always get tempted to do all of the colors. I know. <laughs> Let's see. I've already done a lot of these. Yeah. Yellow. I guess I could go yellow. Oh, shell pink. I should have oh. used this one for the other one. Uh, yeah, I don't think I used that one yet either. Shell pink. So this is, oh, this is kind of like more of like a peachy pink. Looks kind of more like orange on camera. Oh, Alicia says she loves misters to spray 12 by 12 scrap of paper on the ugly side so there's no waste of paper. Good mm. idea. Good idea. Mm -hmm. And the magical effect of foil. Yes, it is, it is magical. Oh, glad you're having fun, Donna. Thanks yeah. for joining us. We're having fun, too. We are having a lot of fun, a lot of messy fun. Woo! This is going all over. Oh, I like this shell pink, and I'm getting some purple on it from my fingers. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. This one, I'm gonna get it pretty much like really covered, um, so that I can really see that effect when I do mist it. I might have added too many colors. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to always happen. I, I knew it was. Well, don't blend them too much. <laughs> I wanted. <laughs> oh, here's my extra Yupo. Oh. I I'm would steal have mine one. all the time. Well. Okay, it's puddling. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, that's>, wow. <laughs> you could probably soak up most of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the orange from Bria Reese. It is better to know your color palette going yeah. in. <laughs> Instead of just guessing. I guess I'll use some orange, some, some green. Or if you don't know, just stick to colors that you know yeah. look okay together. Like or pink, like pink and orange are usually okay together. Um, Tim Holtz has um, alcohol inks like in color packs that oh, already yeah. look good yeah. together. The Brie Elise does that too. Yes, which is nice. It takes the guesswork out of it. Yeah. I don't really know where this is going. Let's see. I'm gonna have to drip down some more. Drippy, drippy. And I have purple on there for my fingers. That's okay. Okay, I covered up a bit of the orange and- Well, I like the blue in there. I do. Yeah. I think that's good. And it's doing things. <laughs> it's doing things. We're so technical. Oh, that's a lot of orange. Maybe I need more pink. Hmm. Ooh, that's that's fun. Isn't that fun. That's like a good summer. Like yeah. it just looks sunset. Whoa. Makes yeah. me think of warm, warm yeah. things, which is what it's we like need right now beach. in Michigan. What's the weather like where you guys are? Is it cold? Yeah. We've had we've had a little we're bit of in snow. Michigan. We've had a little bit of snow here, but not really a ton for the summer yeah. yet. It's not really usual. Mm 
Wow, this orange is like really powerful. Add some more pink. And just keep adding until I like it. Okay, I got rid of a lot of the random colors I had in here. <laughs> I still have some like green and orange over here. Green and orange? Yeah, well, because I started with all the colors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can cover them up. <laughs> um, they usually don't completely go away, but yeah, I'm trying. Yep. So here's my orange kind of pinky. It, it kind of looks yellow too in some areas. That's from the very light pink and the orange mixing get together. So now I'm gonna take my little mister and spray it. You can do this like wet on wet or you can wait for it to dry and then spray it too. You're gonna get different effects no matter what. Um, so I'll see what this happens. What happens here. Woo, look at that. Whoa! Whoa! It's completely changed. Completely. And now just wait, just watch it like it's, it's so going to come back more together yeah. and it will look more um, feathery and like lighter. I don't know. It's kind of doing some cool things. So I'm, right now I'm not touching it. I'm not going to blow it. I'm not going to see what it does. And before I add my dots, I'm just trying to dry it a bit more. Mm -hmm. It's still really wet. Um, it, you can do it when it's a little bit wet, but if it's too wet when you start adding your dots, um, it just kind of makes bigger dots. Yeah. <laughs> Which is okay, Which is I guess, if you want that. Yeah. Cool. So some of this did not really blend back together. I do have some little dots in there. But wow, that like really made it shift. Wow. Well, yeah. Cool. I'm going to um, I'm gonna dry it a little bit with my blower. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's been warm come. in Alabama. 60? Ooh. Changing tonight. That'd be nice. Oh, you're gonna get a flurry for Christmas Eve though. That's fun. I don't know if we're gonna have snow for Christmas. We'll I don't see. think we're supposed to. Which is weird for yeah. Michigan. We actually get more of our snow in like January, yeah. February. March. Like when you're tired of it. <laughs> yeah, March, April. Yeah. All right. Now this is dry enough where I can start adding my dots. It's still a little bit wet. But Ooh. it's it's pretty. I like dry. those colors together. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't know what colors look good together, always warm colors look good. Mm -hmm. So like the red, orange, yep. yellow, like this. Over there. Your pink, purple, blue, green look good. Mm -hmm. That's what I got going over here. Um, those are ones that'll just blend yep. together nicely. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait until it's a little bit drier, and I'm not gonna do another spray. So, yeah, let me show you closer. Um, so this is wet with the plain alcohol, and then you just slightly touch it, and it makes these little dots. Mm -hmm. it looks so cool. And they just kind of like grow. Yeah, they just so don't grow. don't do it like a lot. You just they'll yeah, grow I'm their hardly own. touching yeah. the bottoms of my bristles onto this. So far. And so yeah, you can. You can just go forever doing these. Mm -hmm. This is another thing. Like, you got to know when to stop. Right. Because it's fun. And when you're spraying, make sure you you find the nozzle. I almost just sprayed this in my <laughs> face. So find the nozzle. Make sure you're spraying down. We've been We've all been we, there. Yeah. It's or is alcohol. that just us? Just us. <laughs> oh, Lucia said three inches in Ohio. Could be more tomorrow. Oh, Alyssa's here. Hi, Alyssa. Welcome. She said, what type of paper we're using? And this is Yupo paper. Yupo. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a plastic paper. Um, spelled Y-U-P-O. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah, and we Yupo sell, paper. yeah, you'll find that on our site. Yep. Uh, there are different sizes and... I don't know. There's just there's like eight by ten, yeah. and we uh, we cut ours down just because when you're really experimenting with yeah. them, you want to so, start out smaller. <laughs> here's what it comes in. This is a pack of Oops. five. Um, but yeah, we cut them down. You could when you're just testing it, you can cut them even smaller. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this, this size, this is a good testing size. Yeah. Let's see, this is about like three-ish by four-ish. Yep. Around there. So I, um, I did my spray and then I'm drying it so that my dots will stay there. That texture will, will stay there. And over here, it blended back together already. And you can, um, if you don't have UPO, you can also use, um, any nonstick surface. So you can do this on glass. Mm -hmm. um, you can do it on tile. Yeah, like coasters. A lot of people yeah. make those. Um, Which actually, coasters. Tim Holtz has some coasters. Oh yeah. That we sell too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, for alcohol ink, he also has like some um, canvases that are mm -hmm. like they're oh, not they're like the, like different. They're shapes. hard canvases. Yeah. So it's um, not like a. So canvas it's not like a on. regular porous canvas. You can't use porous things. Yeah. Okay. Look at those. Look, they showed up. Let's get a close up. You see my dots? I dried them so that they would stay there instead of blending again. Mm. And so Ooh, it gives yeah. it a really cool effect. It almost looks like like a burning ember oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I like it and I'm going to keep it like this and not touch it anymore. <laughs> because otherwise... I, I could just keep going forever. I will be going forever <laughs> making these dots. So. Yes. Okay, so that was our mister and dot technique. Um, yep, and that's all the techniques we have for today. Yeah. So really, you now can just can, keep playing. Yeah. You know, keep playing with these different techniques. Use a little bit of everything. Do mister and mm -hmm. saran wrap. See what that does. You yeah. know, do some foil and do some glitter. Why yeah. Not? Why not? Sure. Yeah. And then um, all we did to finish these off was add some dyes. Uh, yes. Like we have these trees. Um, so we're going to add some trees to these. Yeah. We have trees. This was, let's see. So we cut out. These are the dyes we used. Uh, do you see it here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Isn't let's that see. cute? What are these called? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is the Circle Words Christmas. Where do you see the name? Um, above the barcode a little bit. Woodlands. This one's called Woodlands. So that's a Tim Holtz here. Sizzix Woodlands. Can you hand the other card, like the made card one? This one. Yeah. Oh. So here, you can actually use dyes to go over this UPO paper too. Mm -hmm. I'd just run it through like three or four times or five. Um, <laughs> three or four or five. Yeah. It, it does cut harder than regular paper, but. Yeah, because it's, um, it's thicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's how I did here. I lined up the dyes on the UPO paper and then um, there's some foam. So it's, it's up a little bit off of the paper. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. All right. Um, and then all you, you can use uh, regular craft glue. We use a lot of this Nouveau craft glue, deluxe adhesive. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. That works good. Um, you can also use some double sided tape mm -hmm. to glue them on or stick them on. Yep, yep. I really love this one. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so well, we are done for today. We're going to finish up our projects here, turn this into something. Mm -hmm. Some cards, some tags. Um, we'll see a photo. I was thinking of um, backing a photo with something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can use these, like if you're a scrapbooker, use them as pattern paper. Mm -hmm. um, if you're Unique. a card maker, yeah. like this is a cool card. Yeah. Um, or you're you just like a painter. This is it. cool painting. Mm -hmm. Like really anybody can do alcohol ink. Yep. It's really intimidating at first, but um, once just you get, get going, going, just get going. It's really fun. Um, Try one of these techniques that we did. Yeah. Those are very beginner friendly techniques mm -hmm. because we we are beginners. <laughs> we are beginners too. But um, yeah, they're really fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's all. Yeah. Thanks for coming. All right. Thank you so much for coming. We had a lot of fun. Um, join us next month. I think our next classes will be in January. Yeah, be in January. We're going to take a break for Christmas, um, and then we'll do more fun stuff in January. Usually Fridays at 4. This week we just did it earlier. 
because of Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So, so Christmas. happy holidays. Merry yep. Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Everything else that's in there. And thanks for watching. Thank you.